Y'all didn't believe me? Y'all didn't believe me? This is not a shipping stream. We're really not doing a shipping stream today. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, Nomadic. Thank you for the raid. Hope you had a good morning. What are we working on this morning? You are just like putting all the things out there. Every layout, every stream ever. Got the got the TTRPG kit going. Got the tracking logs going. All the stuff, all the stuff. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a great day. And y'all give Nomadic a follow, really. Like y'all should be following Nomadic already, but if you're not, go there right now. Literally, I'll be here. So just go click the button. Go click the button. No shipping stream, prove it by not shipping for 90 minutes. Done, we can do that. We can do that. Super Dylan, power up, power pup. Thank you for the follows. I appreciate y'all very, very much. <clears throat> Thank y'all for hanging out. Uh, how we doing? How we doing? Hey, Toasty Treats here. Did y'all catch the podcast yesterday? OM goodness. OM goodness chat. What did we what did we think about the podcast yesterday? What did we think? Great Scott, 13 months of subbing. I'm in the middle of listening to it. Nice. Let listen or else. Yeah. Stabby. We'll get stabby. Should have been longer. That's a fact. We like we the amount of notes I took and the things I saw and the questions I had were we're talking hours. We're talking hours. Traveler's Factory at the airport, right? Naper Villain with the five gifted subs. Thank you so much, Naper Villain. Right off the jump this morning, you rock. Hope you're doing well. Uh, hope you're doing super well. Good morning. I haven't listened to the podcast yet. It'll be around this afternoon. And I'm, I'm thinking of you, dudes, this morning. I'm finishing my travel journal uh, probably today. Uh, and I, I will recap an email to you. Uh, thank you, Naper Villain. I really, really appreciate the gifted subs. You got this gifted sub? Check out those emotes. Apparently, we have new emote slots. We need to go fix those, right? Maybe I could look at that on. Uh, maybe I could look at that on stream. And we need to shout out the Stationery Cafe. If someone can grab that link real quick, uh, April and Kelly, who were also on this trip, posted their podcast episode yesterday. That's over two hours of awesomeness. And then uh, April's already put out like a huge like foodie post. Uh, the crab needs to dance. Yeah, maybe we could get like a. Like a crab dancing, crab dancing thing. Picked up a fountain telling pen. It's too bad it'll be a bit before they're making pens again. Facts, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Toasty's husband is very accommodating. Well, he got to go to the Beep Boop store, if you follow the stories. He got to go see that Godzilla in that in that um, office space. That Godzilla was sick. Uh, went to uh, the Gundam, what was it called? Gundam Bank or whatever it was called. Went to Universal Studios. This is all the stuff we didn't cover. Went to Super uh, Nintendo World, which I really wanted to discuss. So, and then there was a lot of ice cream and beer and food in between. I think he's okay. I think he'll be all right. Pretty sure. We can clip We can clip that part and send it to him. Lady Tamer, 20 months of subbing. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if you go through the 1,100 images like I did... Uh, Dutch Bill, you would see, you would see all the stuff. Want to explore 24 months of sub and let's go. Yeah, we need a part two. I told, uh, I told Ariel that we will maybe do a, um, a friend of the show episode again. Thank you, Toasty Treat. There's a Super Nintendo World. Why? Because Japan. And it looked amazing. It looked like the coolest thing that I wanted to talk about for sure. We should actually do, Toasty, we should actually do a friend of the show where we literally don't talk about stationery. We just talk about food and locations. There's one coming to one of the uni U.S. Universal Studios. Nice. Yeah, because there was so much stuff in there. I literally, it took me about an hour to scroll through the images. And that was like, I was being quick. I was trying to be quick, efficient. I was like, click, 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 click. Oh, stop. Take a note. Like, Where's my notebook? I cleaned up too hard yesterday. Where's my Christmas card? Haven't seen it yet. I was there Monday and it hadn't shown up. 
We almost pulled that off on our friend of the show. True. We need to do another one. We should probably do another one next year and talk about, um, you know, more stuff. One dog night, 47 months. Yeah. So I've been checking um, pretty frequently and I haven't seen it. And you said you sent it like, well, like last week, right? Super Nintendo Orlando is open. Had no idea. I saw the coolest thing. It was a 3D printed metal pen. Interesting. Interesting. The photos were worth staying up till midnight to watch them all. Crazy. I ordered a gun mail spoke gun meal. Was it gun meal in the description? I saw your order. I haven't shipped it yet though. Hopefully shipping uh this afternoon, maybe. If not, I'm in trouble. Want to explore with the gifted sub to nomadic. Did he really say uh what did he say? Gun meal. Sweet. Thank you for the gifties. Want to explore. Good morning, Darrow. How are you doing? On YouTube. Yeah, I haven't seen uh, like a metal extruded like 3D print, 3D printed pen. Oh, nice, 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 nice. I'm surprised we didn't already have a category built for that one. Or maybe it was. <clears throat> All right, so you enjoyed the podcast with Toasty this week? Nice. That's exactly what we were talking about. So you're fitting right in this morning. <clears throat> On Jimmy Kimmel yesterday, a dog mowing the lawn, one clip of the year. The shipping manager should watch that. Well, yeah, Toby, can I get you to mow the lawn? Would you be up for that? Yeah, he said no. He said he does other things to the lawn. Mowing it is not on the list. Mowing is not on the list for sure. <sighs> so yeah, uh, the shipping manager did not have to work yesterday despite me working in the shipping department yesterday uh, because my wife was home. He helps fertilize, right, right. Brad, I'm going to get you a pin bowl. I'm going to heard you talking about it Monday. Ooh, nice. I got to figure out what I'm going to use it for. Like I like the design and shape. Like what would it hold? What would it hold? Like all my little accessories. <laughs> that would be amazing. You get a herd of goats to mow your lawn and Toby could supervise the goats. Uh, we could, we totally have room for goats. They just poop too much. That's a lot of poop. I have enough of that with Toby. What's a pin bowl? I mean, it's just, I was just talking about like, I like the wood turner bowls that they make. It's not really a pin bowl, but like I have a lot of accessories laying around. And it's like, would my small accessories work in a bowl? How's the platinum with green ink? Excellent. I just posted it on Instagram this morning, although I didn't do a writing sample. But uh, it's flowing great. Feels great. Thank you, Mafia Geek, for doing that redemption. That was fun. That was fun yesterday. Totally caught me off guard, which is rare to do these days. <clears throat> you can make it shallow and wide. You can put pins on it. Be careful what you... What you uh, what you send to me because it might get shown off on the stream, like your pen, which I still have to review. Long list. <laughs> I am not the, I am not the fastest, fastest draw in the in the south. So yeah, um, this is not a shipping stream. I do have more shipping to do probably this afternoon, tomorrow afternoon. I'm in, I'm running up against it this weekend. Just busyness. AKA pickleball tournaments, but I'm running up against my schedule this weekend. So I don't know how long we'll stream today just so I can get, get back to work. I have an article to publish this afternoon. I have a newsletter to write. I have all kinds of things to go. Fawn Air, thank you for the 100 bits. Happy holidays to you too. Hope you're doing awesome. Yeah, ship, ship, ship. Like shipping is priority these days. All the way probably through like Monday, Tuesday, shipping is top priority. And then by Wednesday of next week, it's like, I mean, I'll ship them, but we'll see. 
Just grab the XL Dart model, so add that to your shipping equation, but don't stop streaming. I will not. I will not. I shipped your order. Thanks, Guinness. That uh, that XL Dart model is pretty sick. Like, that's not my style of pen, but that's one of the pens that Brian's made ever since the small roadie dart. I just thought was one of the coolest ones. Schmevelin! With the tier one six months in advance. Sweet! 54 months of subbing. Thank you, Schmevelin. You rock. Hope you're having awesome holidays. Are you going to the, to the California pen show? I got to stop calling it the LA pen show. I, I really, I, I keep yapping about it. I really need to come to a decision, like, really, really soon. Um, as in, like, literally within the next few days, first week. Missed the first round, glad, glad to see it came back. Super popular model, super popular model. Those Model 6 pencils get me every time. Yeah, I saw that. I knew you liked the, uh, I knew you liked them. I have a roadie dart. It's pretty cool. Yep, really, really cool. Is the older LL show actually happening or dead? I have no idea. Like, I just assumed it was dead, but I have no idea. Is is that guy trying to do like the LA? I think I'm actually gonna make it to the CA pin show. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. You'll be at the new CA show. Is the hotel by the airport? Is that the thing this year? Let's pull up the site. Let's see how let's see if Brad books his travel to the CA pin show. Because I keep saying I need to look at it and I keep not looking at it. So let's look at it on stream. Back by the fashion mall, that literally means nothing to me. <laughs> No, last year was besides the airport. This one's a little further. Okay, so it's uh, Brad books his travel to Japan, right? So this one's, they've already moved from last year's. Okay, which is fine. Like, I don't care where it's at. February 16th to 18th. All right, let me look at the calendar. Hello, Addy. Hello, Addy. What are you sending me? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm already on the website. I should pull this up. <laughs> Get ready to embark on a journey through the enchanting world of fine writing instruments, vintage pens, and boundless creativity. <laughs> Thank you, Toby. Good timing. This year's event promises to be a celebration of craftsmanship, passion, and the beauty of the written word. Join us. Oh, God, there's more. We're going to keep going. Join us as we dive into a sea of ink. Mingle with fellow enthusiasts and discover rare treasures that will leave you inspired to put pen to paper in the most beautiful way. Stay tuned for a weekend filled with workshops, demonstrations, and a chance to explore the latest releases in the world of pen and inks. Whether you're a seasoned collector, a calligraphy enthusiast, or simply a lover of all things related to writing, the California Pen Show 2024 has something special for you. So that's three paragraphs repeating the same thing over and over again, just for the record. Uh, Kim's got it. Kim, yeah, Kim has got it. Yeah, so it's literally the same talking points said three different ways in three different paragraphs. One paragraph's good. Thank you, Kim. Yes, the California Pen Show uh, was noted uh, heavily by Kimberly last year, and they have not changed it. Um, so... I think they're just leaning into the California pin show now. <laughs> All right. There's the big, there's the big, uh, the big thing. All right. Let me look at my calendar real quick. So step one, am I free those days? Wow. What are these things moving across my website here? Please stop. Because it's just like, wow, there's like two things we could do more or less. Whew. Yeah, the drifting shapes, either just give me the full-on snowstorm or don't make me think that my mouse is running loose, right? Full-on snow, where I know it's like a thing, or nothing. This makes me think my mouse is running away. But it is the California Pincha. All right, let me look here. Calendar. Calendar, calendar, calendar. December, January, February. So 16th to 18th. Um, my wife is off. Oops, come back calendar. When are the kids off? Let's see here. 
Mm-mm-mm. It's like a Southern California snowstorm. Mm-hmm. What's the difference between the San Francisco Pin Show and the California Pin Show? Surprisingly a lot. Surprisingly a lot. So yeah. San Francisco is much larger, gets much more, uh, many more vendors, especially from the Asian market. California will get some. Um, sorry, I'm actually actively looking at this now. So that's that. Let me look at this real quick. Are the hotels still available? <laughs> Even now with morning traffic, it only take me one minute or an hour and 15 minutes. Parking at the hotel, L. Hotel rates, 179 Cut for discounted rate is January 10th. All right, so I have a few days. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, I'm actually doing more than I thought here. Man, I think my schedule's good. I think we're in chat. All right. I know. I was just messing with you, dudes. This California show is only its second year. I'm sure if they keep it up to standards, it'll grow to be as nice as SF. It would be because it's um, it's a really good time frame. Um, can you celebrate yet? No. Once I have everything booked, you can celebrate. <laughs> uh. There. Let's check out the hotel. So the crab, he's only, he's static. Uh, Torrance Marriott, so we're in Torrance. You're such a cheer tater, Torrance. How far is it from the airport? Or which airport do you fly into? LGB. <laughs> Torrance Marriott Redondo Beach. LAX. How far is it from the airport? Not that it matters. I don't even know which direction LAX is. Oh, there it is. Oh, gosh. It's not far at all. This would be my first pin show. Is it going to be very overwhelming? I always hear people are overwhelmed their first time. So this is probably a good one to go to the uh, first first pin show. Like San Francisco is like a different animal and like DC is a different animal. This one would be good, especially if I'm there and I, or a lot of other people are there like Kimberly or Jonathan. They will like just tell you what to do, take you by the hand, show you what you need to do, answer your questions, get you in the groove. Yeah. Everything in LA is at least an hour drive. That's also a fact. All right. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Redondo Beach. Okay. Um let's mm, tickets. Yo, VIP. Wow, they give you a bunch of stuff. How much is a VIP? $89 VIP. You get a bottle of ink, a pen case, cleaner fluid, traveler's notebooks, Omos writing pad. So Friday to Sunday. Hmm. My first pen show was Orlando, and Brad was so good at helping me now today. Aw, oh, that's sweet. I appreciate that. It's one of my favorite things to do. Like I, I really, really, really just um, I like helping people out. <clears throat> Personally, my first pin show was Chicago, and it's fine. But I've also been in a bunch of comic cons before, and those are enormously, or enormous comparatively. Facts, facts, facts. <laughs> Namiki winner Vlad with a pin show tips post. 
eat breakfast, take breaks, wear comfortable shoes, have a list. If you need one, get on Nim Grind list first things. Those are all super, super good points. So I would add in eat lunch or take snacks as well. But that goes into the take breaks category. I'm booked Thursday to Monday and having a double bedroom. If you have issues getting a whole room, it's go just me going. Okay, I'll let you know. I'm sure it's still open, but we'll see. But yes, water. I always I bring a water bottle. Um, that's one thing I do pack the shows is I will throw a water bottle in my luggage just to carry that around with me. Um, um, exhibitor list. Let's see what we got, chat. Let me see. So that will cost me money because I have not seen any of Eric's pens in person. Carolina Pen Company. Just scratch that off the list. Eric's. Ba, ba, ba. Flax Pen to Paper. My good buddies over there at Flax. FC. A bunch of people I don't know. Canalea. Kino Canillo will be there. Interesting. Oh, yeah. CY is going to be there. That's right. Toasty told me that uh, yesterday. Let's see who is Mashahiro? Who is that? Uh, Nagasawa. Okay. Nagasawa Stationery. Mora's coming. Wow. Pacific Pen Company. I don't know them. Nor do they have a website. Website. Pilot, Prodder, Plotter, Rubato. I don't know them. This is a pretty good list. This is a pretty good list. <laughs> Spoke Pencils, Model 4 versus 6 Thoughts. We can handle that. We will do that in just one moment. I think they're very different pen pencils. Uh, ooh. It's little baby pins. I like them. Oh, this one's called Annabelle, but with two ends. Maybe if Annabelle's coming, I'll get my pen back. All right. I think I'm going to do it, chat. I think I'm going to do it. Yes, buy a Kakari, buy three. Maybe I could get talked into one at the show, and I could also return CY's alpha prototype that is literally sitting on the uh, on the desk. Are you sure TSA hasn't added empty water bottles to the band item list yet? I mean, it would go in my uh, check bag. I'm going to start checking bags. Even though like a trip like this, I don't need to check. I just hate dealing with overheads and stuff like that. What's up, Ruben? I can talk you into one. I'm good at it. It's the weight, Toasty. Everything about it is good except the weight. I mean, and there's nothing wrong with the weight. That's a me thing, right? Speaking of pencils, could you follow up with any updates on a spoke retractable pencil? Um, definitely no updates on that. We did a, we did these capped prototypes. <laughs> they are so ugly, which is okay, which is okay, but gosh, they are aggressive. <laughs> I don't have it in here. I have it back in the shop, in the shipping department. All right, let's do a spoke four and a six comparison. Let me go grab a six real quick. Maybe it's the capped one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if we're going to do that. Um, hang on one second. Uh, is there anything else I need to grab while I'm getting up? Before I get up, I have to go to make a Closet of Doom run, get a Model 6, and then um, I'll be back. So anything else? Yeah, the cap pencils, it's out in the uh, shop. I, I don't carry it very much, which is, I guess, telling. I like our retractable pens better. We just got our room for the Orlando pen show. Dang, you are fast. I am not planning on Orlando, but it could be a last-minute adventure. Um, I've gone two years in a row, and I would like to mix in something different. Uh, the spoke pencil arrived, and it's legit my favorite pencil. I saw your email. I owe you an email, but I did see your uh, Instagram tag. I love it, love it, love it. You need more coffee? I should probably get more coffee. Dallas. Yeah, like I'd, I would, it's been years since I've been to Dallas, so I would like swap Dallas for Orlando, something like that. Just trying to mix, I, I need to mix up the calendar this year. My London trip has kind of thrown that for a loop. So we'll see. But I might take a Orlando year off or something like that. We'll see. Your interview with Toasty Treat was fantastic. That's because Toasty Treat is fantastic. I just, I just, I just drive the bus. Toasty was along for the ride and just nailed it. Nailed it. 
come to Dallas, Miami. I will not come to Miami unless there's another convention going on at the same time. Then I might can be talked into Miami. <laughs> Y'all got to quit making new colorways. I can't make up my mind. That is literally our thing. We have uh, skew growth, something fierce. Is the Miami show is still a thing? Maybe. I don't even know. More toasty podcasts, right? What's great about talking to Toasty Treat on the podcast is we have a huge overlap in the things we like, but when it gets down to like the like the writing, like our writing styles and like the pens we choose are very, very different, like nibs and inks and like broadness versus fineness. So we have, it's like a perfect kind of compliment uh, to each other. I will hydrate a little. All right, let me go get this Model 6. Joe is doing a great job at Orlando. All right, be right back. Man, it's cranking without me on it. I've done something with my Model 6. I had my orange one out yesterday, and I've put it somewhere. So I can show you on the website the difference. <laughs> Chairs on parade. All right. <clears throat> I can show you real quick. Short version is they're a little bit bigger. And... From our side of things, from the assembly side of things, we can do a couple different things with it. So model four. So model four, which I'll show you. What do I have here? So that's a knurled one. Let me show you the one that I have on my desk. All right, so the model four has a lot more fixed parts in it from our assembly perspective. I forget who asked this question. So this is a Model 4, and mine's essentially the same right here, just a different color. So when we make the grip, so this is fixed into place. The sleeve colors fix into place. Um, and I find them to be a little bit lighter, a little bit narrower. But it's basically just like a grip design difference. Reverse taper is the best model for a grip. I agree. I agree. So you can get a little bit smaller. It's, yes, Spoke is my company. Yes. It's really Brian's company. And I'm just I'm just the uh, uh, the pretty face. <laughs> yes, yeah, Spoke Design. Um, but yes, I'm part of the company. So I find the Model 4s to be slightly smaller 
even though you can get a Model 6 that's pretty much um, smaller. So with the Model 6, they're a little bit wider, like in their cylindricalness. Is that a word? And then you can see on the grip section, the difference here, the difference here is these are removable. So we can actually swap the sizes between these. And then they're a little bit um, bulkier up here, kind of more like a pin style diameter. I'll have to check out the measurements. So I find the six to be slightly larger than the four but it's it's pretty comparable and i literally had my model 6 orange and gunmetal prototype using it yesterday and i do not see it anywhere i don't have one in here to give away do i so apologies i thought i had one easily at hand so i don't know if that answers the uh answers the question i mean gun meal i didn't even notice that until y'all told me so yeah um another slight difference um which i don't know how many of you could even tell and it doesn't affect anything the um you see the nose cone here this has like the orens nose cone where there's no uh groove in it where the model four has the sharp nose cone with the uh, little line in it there. Does that make sense? I mean, it technically doesn't change anything. It's just a visual. So that's why you'll see sometimes they'll ship with like the line here. And then these have the smooth, which looks pretty sick on this. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> Not gonna lie. looks pretty sick. So yeah, so Brian made a bunch of sixes yesterday or, or put a bunch of sixes up for sale yesterday. So this is what I hope to be shipping today. This is the this is a new color. We haven't done the red and gunmetal before. So that's a new color, pretty sharp. Um, we've done these colors, these three, this one. Have we done all blue? I don't know if we've done all blue before, but this red and gunmetal is new. Does the orange six only come in the one grip size? Yeah, we might have we might have been out of um, the other grips. So this looks like the eight point six grip. So we might have been out of ten millimeter grips. So you can choose your grip size. That's why there's like two pictures of these. So you can choose the eight point six diameter or the ten millimeter diameter. And this is how you can tell the difference visually. They have a little wider ridge right here between the two. You got the gunmetal and silver black. Nice. Yes, yeah, so Jotter Nook, we were probably just out of the 10 millimeter silver knurled grips, right? So it must only have uh, that one. So that's pretty much the difference. They're a little bit smaller. You can choose... For the four, it's a little bit smaller, and the sixes, you can choose the different uh, different grip sizes if you're so inclined. And then they just have like a little bit of logo differentiation. differentiation. <clears throat> so like these just have the tiny logo up at the top, and these have the room and the barrel. Like they have a spot in the barrel for the larger lasering. So is Brian able to get the Pentel mech and parts individually? Is there a graveyard of Pentel body somewhere? We're usually able to get the parts individually. Um, it's been a long time since we've gotten a bind and had to order any like pencil barrels. So we're pretty much, we can get the, we can get the mechanisms by themselves. So yeah, there you go. Again, full disclosure. I am part of this company, right? So when I go to the shipping department, I'm shipping this a lot of times. So I do all the shipping, um, or most of the shipping, Brian does ship a lot of ship uh, a lot of things that I don't have. Or he, if he does this like a special drop, he'll ship all those stuff. We're trying to get me to ship as much as possible because he does so much work for this. He does all the design and assembly. It's just and like coordination with factories and manufacturing. He's the superstar. That is a fact. So yeah, there you go. 
So model six is out now. It's always a very, very popular release when we do the six. The four is the classic bestseller, right? The four is the OG of the spoke pens, pencils. And it has a lot of different grip styles where the six is your only, your choice is knurled in diameter differentiation. So with the sixes, you can choose knurled in 8.6 or 10. In model fours, we have different colors, different styles, different shapes. Uh, not all of which are in stock right now. So, so we definitely, since the four is so popular, we play around with more grip styles with the four. All right. That good? We get some questions answered there. Gnarly, dude. And our knurling is really good. It's not overly aggressive. It's a good, it's a good mid-range knurling. It's not as smooth as like the Rotrings. I think the Rotring is a smooth knurling. The Alvin Draftmatic is an aggressive knurling, and ours is, I think, right there in the middle. Probably closer to the Rotring than anything. I'm really flummoxed where that pencil is, especially since it was recently in my hand. <laughs> as, as recent as yesterday. Such is the life. I was thinking about the Closet of Doom. We're going to do a Closet of Doom um, stream before the end of the year. Thank you for reminding me of that, uh, Slumberland Studio. We're going to do a Closet of Doom stream before the end of the year. And I'm going to pick a date so y'all know ahead of time, even though we'll have the VOD up. But that's going to be fun to be live because it's going to be terrible. I'm just tell tearing you, telling you it's going to be awful. <laughs> Probably like in the best way possible. There is so much, gosh, when something is missing in Brad's room, Toby, luckily he doesn't eat the pens or the pencils or the inks or the paper. So, so we will do, we have the Closet of Doom animated emote. That's a brand new one. That is literally about a week or two old. It's there. It's the one with the fire coming out of it. So that is the Closet of Doom emote. It's brand new. Brand spanking new. There it is. Whoosh. <laughs> just got it just got it all right let's do a giveaway and then the ice box of happiness is the one with like the treasure chest with like the gold coming out of it it's not an animated one though all right what do we got let's see here we need to get some of this stuff out of here what is this some hidden stuff in here. Ugh. Sorry, I'm doing my own discovery in here. All right, let's give this away. I still have stashes from both Zebra and Uniball. Did I lose something? No, I just I was hoping I could come across a uh, a spoke model six in there, but I couldn't. Um, all right, I still have a good stash of zebra and uniball products to give away. So let's give away this combo meal. This will be a good now that the year uh, New Year's coming and journaling's happening. I have a set of. The eight count mild liners in probably like the best color palette. It's a very rainbowy, um, kind of not faint, but they're not as dark as the other ones. Speaking of uni, my dive is supposed to deliver today. I can't believe. So if y'all haven't listened to the podcast yet, and I can't believe I can't remember if we actually talked about it on the podcast or you just mentioned it here on Tuesday that you could not find a dive in Japan, which blows my mind. And then we have the Uni 207 Plus, um, the three-pack, medium. So this is kind of like a good journaling setup. 
yeah, this is this is like the best color range for like a pack of mild liners, in my opinion. Because I like the lighter pastel colors. And then you can even get some lighter ones. Yeah, I think you must have mentioned it Tuesday when we were talking about the dive. I think because uh, Slumberton had bought the dive and was asking me, asking me if I was going to get one. I think that's I think it was here. Um, and it was just kind of wild that you couldn't even find one in Japan. So one person will get both of these. That's kind of a good journaling planner setup using the uh, – also needs a ruler if we're talking journaling. Yeah, no medic would approve of that as well. I don't have any, I need to get some rulers to give away. I have my rulers that I use, but I don't have any rulers to give away. Do I? You're asking Delgard versus Kurutoga? Gotcha. I think that's one of the easier questions I can answer. I'm not a huge fan of the Delgard. I'm just checking to see if I have a ruler. Those are hard to see in here. Oh man, I'm making a mess. There's stuff in bags. There's bags and stuff. There's a Barney pin. It would be like me to just throw a ruler in here though, so I'm curious. I'm going in, chat. I need a light in here. All right, I don't see a ruler right offhand. No rulers today. I'll order some more rulers for giveaway. No regrets on ordering Purple Dive as an artist with an automatic feed and cap. It's awesome. It's a cool pencil. And that color is sweet. I definitely want to see a picture of it when you get it. All right, let's do this giveaway. I'll show you all the ruler that I like. All right, let's do... All right, this giveaway is open, exclamation point raffle. Anyone can enter, anyone can win. One person will win both of these packs of pins courtesy of Todd and courtesy of me yelling at Uniball. So pretty good stuff, pretty good stuff. So thanks Todd, thanks Uniball for your kindness. Um, ships everywhere including Antarctica. Um, so I haven't checked the tracking. What did we check the tracking like a couple weeks ago? I'll show y'all my rulers. So these are the rulers I use. The fruits of Brad's grumbling, right? I scored. I scored big time. Do we have a Todd command here? We should have a Todd command that links to one of like the most Todd video. The one where he's like complaining in the office. The one where he's at the cube and there's a girl sitting behind him and she's talking about something and he's whining. Have you gotten any updates on your Leonardo? Yes, apologies. I did not update you that. I got a full refund. And a Carl command. <laughs> I don't know that we need a Carl command. Although that, that picture is pretty great. 207 plus is a great gel pen. It is. Is there a non-military post office in Antarctica? No. I mean, there may be for outgoing. I don't know, but you can't. I don't think you can send there because I probably would have already. Um, so I sent to um, military. All right, we'll do a ruler check after this giveaway. Chronic, chronic kimchi. Uh, you all right over there? I did ship. If you won a giveaway this week, it's it's shipped as of yesterday. Antarctic Exploration Museum Post Office. What is that? Omaha Dad Games. Twenty seven months of seven. Let's go. Thank you so much. Dusty keyboard, right? The best best place to send your postcards home from Antarctica. Why not a replacement of Leonardo? Um, they were out of stock, and time it would take 
to like, so they were out of stock of the one that I had. And then I could have sent it off for repair, which would have taken a few months, which I think Tello got his repaired. Um, so I said, just give me a store credit. That's fine. Um, like, I don't care. I didn't care that much. So give me a store credit. And then they just shot over a refund. I was like, Look, that works too. But like, I would have taken a store credit and, <clears throat> but I mean, they handled it well. They gave me all the options. It's like, here's what we can do. I was like, yeah, just give me store credit. I'll pick something else out. So not a big deal. Get the cloud Leonardo. It's amazing. Um, what is that one? Is that that blue and white one? The recent one? Kind of the big chunkier pattern? McMurdo is APO 96599. I wonder if that's where I sent to. Yeah, that's a really pretty one. <clears throat> link, link to the cloud, Leonardo. Someone grab that. Is that what you want, Gwen? It's really pretty. It's kind of a, a little bit of a different pattern for them, which I, I, I approve of. Yeah, I'll have to look uh, great, Scott, to see if that's where exactly where I sent it to. But that's where, that was the end destination was McMurdo, so it was probably that. Yeah, it's Omos. It's an Omos-like material. Yeah, someone grab that link while I do this raffle. Let's pick a winner. The poor penman. Former, former Pentel penman. Gonna have to uh, poison his hands with competition here. <laughs> it's you. It's you. Oh, where's my pen? Third win. Nice. All right. Email me your shipping address and tell me you won the, the mild liners. That way I remember. All right, we got three sumos down, chat. Three sumos down. Five sumos left. We're getting down there. Then we have we have a whole stash of Shibas. Thank you, Slumberland Studio. I'll pull that up just a second. Stick that together. So this was pretty cool. It was a really different look for Leonardo and I kind of liked it. Like it's not for me necessarily, hang on. Excuse me. But um, I think it was like super popular um, just because it is such a cool material and such a kind of an outlier from the, the products, the materials that they've been making uh, recently. So yeah, came out great. I really like it. It's super clean. Really, really like it. <clears throat> and just like a lot of their other materials, like it varies like which one you get. So yeah, dove grayish, yeah. Really, really cool. Don't leave you hanging. <clears throat> Does Leonardo have common problems with pen nibs? Almost never. But we had one batch that did have a problem. But I've, that's, I've never had another problem or haven't really heard of it, like repeated problems. <clears throat> But a bunch of us had a problem with the primary manipulation um, nibs fitting. And this is more of a class. This is like the classic Leonardo. You got not a great one on my Micarta. Your, your nib or like the fitting? <clears throat> 
think I saw your Leonardo in Tom's last video. He was using it as a prop. It doesn't surprise me. I will be stopping through Tokyo in January. Do you have any shop suggestions while there? Well, by chance, I recorded a podcast yesterday. That recapped a trip to Japan from my friend Toasty Treat. Good timing. <clears throat> what happened with your Leonardo? The um, nib unit would not seat in the barrel. You could just take the whole nib unit and remove it where it should be threaded in there. So I didn't find out till I cleaned it. Nib, poor flow that I've not been able to fix it for. Gotcha. Interesting. Yeah, I haven't had any like nib quality issues, but this was a nib. This was a bigger issue where like the nib unit, I went to clean it and it's a piston filler and I'm just flushing water through it and it just goes, <laughs> then the whole nib unit just straight out. And apparently that was a thing with this, uh, with this batch of uh, Leonardo's that they had a widespread problem with. Were the threads missing or was the unit too narrow? So I think, the threads were not missing and the threads were too wide. So the unit is pretty standard, but when they shaped the inside, someone had a really good comment. It's like, I wonder if they shaped it for like a Bach fitting, which is close. It's close enough to touch, but it's not close enough to fit in to, and to seal. So yeah. What face did you make when your nib hit your sink? I really didn't think of it at first. I was like, well, maybe it was just loose. Maybe I did it. Maybe the pressure spun it out, things like that. Then I went to grab the nib and put it to screw it back in. Then I went, oh. And it just did that. And I was like, oh, it's not me. So that's when I emailed him. <laughs> so, and it was a common issue with that model. No screw screw. All right. Too hard, too fast recently? I mean, I, I, is, is there been more problems? Like, I I don't, I mean, it's one problem. If it keeps happening, sure, too hard, too fast. Maybe. They do a lot. It is, it is always, you do always question when someone produces a lot. And problems start to crop up. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, all right, <laughs> rulers. We're going from we're going from really interesting to really boring. Um, these are the rulers I use at my desk. So this is the Traveler's Brass ruler. I really like this one. It's fun. It's got a it's got a good edge to like help tear paper and things, and then a way to pick up the ruler from the page, which I like this kick up. <clears throat> So that's cool. This is my favorite one because it's neat looking. Um, this is a uh, tools to live by, I think. Yeah, tools to live by. Um, it's just a cool acrylic, even though it's kind of got a deeper rounded edge. If I need just a line, like a quick line, like on the postcard, I'll use this. This is a better ruler with a sharper edge, right? Um, so this is a better technical ruler than this one because this one's wide and rounded but it's cool like i think this one's cool this one fits in a pin slot right like in your pin case so it's kind of designed really really well in a neat um neat material need a brooks primary manipulation ruler we could do that it would be like a 50 dollars ruler but sure and then this one's probably my least favorite um high tide so this is this is a really good portable one right, because of the clip, but I end up, like if these are my choices, I never choose that one, unless I've taken this somewhere. Um, but it's good because it's thin. It's got it thin, which is where, this is the biggest flaw out of this one, is it's thick and round on the edge, so you gotta be really careful. If you're like doing like really important lines, I would use something like this or this, but I just never use this one. But it is cool how it can be like a bookmark. It's designed to be a bookmark. And it does work well for that because it is so thin. So 
those are the ones I use at my desk. I say this is the best of the bunch. And then this is the coolest, but maybe the least functional. <laughs> I recently bought the folding metal Midori ruler. I've been very happy with it. The expansion allows me to rip A5s. Really? I'll have to check that. So is that, it, it folds in the middle, right? Like this type of deal, right? That would be cool. So yeah, those stay in the smand. <clears throat> I was looking at Travers Co. the other day because I'm a sucker for brass. I I like it. I like it. Should probably buy a small ruler to assist with my awful sketching attempts. Yeah. Folds in the middle. Also has angle measurements on the hinge. Oh, is it pretty stable for your angle measurements? Like, like this is me over obsessing. Right, so are you holding both sides? So like when you split it and you're gonna do like a 45, are you like holding on top of both sides and drawing in or will it stay pretty stable? Just kind of hold it like this, pretty stable. I, I'm just busy here selling myself a ruler, so. <laughs> Ray made grid ruler. This is what I actually, this is what I thought I had to give away. I thought I had some of these in the, uh, I thought I had some of these in the cabinet. This is just like one of the classic OG throw it in your bag rulers. Really good. Hey, Winofri. Still use my kindergarten Tom and Jerry ruler? That sounds sick. You need to hold both sides, but then you just mark a couple dots and then draw the line separately. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I've bought several of these over the years. They're just good classic throw it in your bag. Very thin and portable. Yep. So this is the one I'll actually, if I was going to do like, if I was going to do something where I was just adding in a ruler to a thing, like if we did like a little journaling notebook, pen, ruler, I would pick this ruler, right? Because the, like the price and the quality is really, really good. How much is that Midori one? Or sorry, the brass one. So there's the, hang on, we'll talk about this one. This is the one Michael was talking about. Ooh, there's a brown one. That's better looking. Let me see. All right, I guess we're going down the ruler rabbit hole. This is what happens when I don't have a strict plan today. We talk about rulers. Did they not have the Travelers? There it is. So that's the Travelers Brass Ruler. Did I ever tell y'all the story? All right, here's something to rem for y'all to remind me. We did a podcast episode several years ago talking about rulers. And this is probably when I bought one of these. And we were complaining about rulers. And I can't remember the re the like the full list of complaints. And a listener ended up sending me in the mail two 18 inch brass rulers. We wanted a quality six inch ruler. Yeah. So they sent me two like 18 inch brass rulers that are still out in the shipping department. I need to find those. So the next, so this is your task. The next shipping stream, which might be next year, tell me to find those rulers. Because they sent one for me and one for Mike. I'm not shipping Mike an 18 inch brass ruler to England. <laughs> I have a small collection of vintage rulers. That would be a rabbit hole I would be in. Yeah, I think we were looking for for inch rulers. Or at least I was looking for inch rulers. So I have two, I have two, I'm pretty sure they're 18 inch brass rulers sitting in the shipping department, which someone very, very nice sent those to me, and it was hilarious. <clears throat> Alright, we'll pull that up in a second. So I don't understand quite what this is. Oh, what? This would drive me nuts. I get it. This would make me lose my mind. S 
super cool idea. I would totally make this. This would make me lose my mind. I would... I would have a huge problem with this. Yeah. It reminds you of a slap bracelet. That's exactly right. Like... Like, this is a good concept, but it's, I know. Can you put a reminder on your phone that alerts you when your location is at the shipping station? Yes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, rulers, that's a ruler no-no, right? Wow, there's even a bigger one. Yeah, that's a ruler no-no. This is the one Michael's talking about. It's bigger than I thought. I need like, I want like a half size one. I want like a, like a three inch like a 15 centimeter folds into a 30. That would be cool. These look sick though. Like I would get this. Because this would actually this one actually works when closed. And it's a full scope lines. Muji has a half size ruler like that. A half size folder like right in half here. Spoke ruler, we have talked about, we have sketches of spoke rulers. We have talked about rulers many times. Spoke rulers are on the list and have been for like two years now because I want it. Please make a spoke ruler. Are you listening today, Brian? I don't know if Brian's listening today. That's something we would sell, we would sell like tens of. <laughs> <laughs> we would sell tens of the spoke ruler <laughs> aluminum and wood oh that's nice now that's just a cool ruler like i'm in on that purple ruler oh, god we would totally make it purple that would be sick <laughs> i'm pretty sure it'd be orange orange would make it for a sick ruler I'm in the audience for a spoke dip pen and a spoke ruler. I mean, me too, and the, but we're like the only two. I think spoke fans will buy rulers in greater numbers than they would use them. So the good thing about the ruler in our scope is we sell a lot of mechanical pencils, and that's those are just like tailor-made for, for rulers. So yeah, I think an orange ruler would be hot. A micro ruler would be cool. All right, let's look at the rest of the rulers. Who knew, chat? Maybe we can make the maybe we can make the half one that I want. Maybe we do this one and we make the half size that I want, and we'll do it in inches, three inches, three inches out to six inches. Brian, are you on this? Text, hey, text me, text me thumbs up if you see this. <laughs> Half size, and like, look, like the little spoke icon would go right there. Bam. Spoke icon, spoke logo. Ultim spoke six. Never say never. I mean, it's not in the, it's not in the queue, but we've, we banter about that. Yeah, little spoke logo right there. Little three inch by three inch ruler. What else we got? Oh, there's a plastic one. If you don't want the the big one. Boy, the the um the metal one just looks so much better and I love uh I love I love the pink acrylic. Have you ever thought about of selling spoke pen spoke on jet pens? Um I mean, it's just any retail. I mean, we'll go. Can we make enough profit if we sell on retail we go no so that's it's a pretty short conversation all right i think that's what is this one t squares what are these e &Ms? are these triangles okay so i did buy one of these so i bought one of these sticks okay and it's like a block, which is cool. Like, I think the design is cool. Right? So, ruler on a stick. Um, it was... 
uneven. <laughs> the edge of the ruler was uneven because it's like out of a piece of wood. Wow, you can actually almost see it on here. Can I get this even bigger? I see a gap here. Let me see what this. Rockstar uses Bach and the one that I have, but I don't know if they have both options. Look. Like, what are you doing? Like, mine came like that. Ruler and straight edge aren't necessarily the same thing. True. Fair. That still bothered me. It still bugged me. I don't expect to get glunk when I'm writing on there. It's like a hiccup. All right. Oh, I thought they had these black ones in there. All right. Unfinished wood. Sure. All right. So, yeah, there we go. Ruler pin combo. Oh, yeah, I've seen these. These are not bad. So there was a triangle one. Uh, I mean, the first uh, the first pin type A had that crazy titanium block. You know, I never thought I'd want a ruler before today. They're super useful when you need them, especially the, the smaller, the better, in my opinion. That's just an, a, my opinion thing, right? For someone who doesn't use anything more than an A5 notebook, like the six inch or 30 centimeter rulers, they're just kind of useful and you can get them for so cheap. And they're just neat looking. Yeah. Um, so the first pin type A was had like a scale. Um, then there was a smaller triangular one that was a Kickstarter. I can't remember if I backed that one or not, but it was similar to this. So this one's like a combination of the pin type Uh, pin type A. But I can't remember who did the who did the black one. The triangle architecture scale rulers, but the endpoints are terribly sharp. That was one of the biggest problems with the pin type C. I think uh, the pin type A, excuse me, I keep wanting to call them that. I think they have them here. If y'all haven't seen these. So this was the original I'm trying to see what's the best picture so this is a really <laughs> this is a really heavy situation here is it weird to ask for an exacto knife recommendation no we've been asked to make exacto spoke pens before but like if I needed one, I'd just get the standard metal Exacto, the official Exacto steel with the steel with the blades. <clears throat> Six inches too short for me. I like to draw longer lines in an A5 in one shot. Ah, makes sense. Makes sense. Pin BBS makes blade holders. Uh, Big Eye Design, I believe, makes blade holders. Uh, um. Studio Neat does box cutter holders. I don't think they do exacto blade holders. But yeah, these are like super aggressive. Like really, really heavy duty bricks. Let me see. Let me see what they got here. At this point, what doesn't Big Eye make? I mean, when you see the backpack right there. Yeah, I haven't talked to them in a while. I don't know where it would be. So those are box cutters. I thought there was one. I thought there was an exacto blade pen, not a box cutter style. Could be wrong. I guess I'm wrong. Am I wrong? Am I crazy? Spoke A5 rulers, eight inches for A5 paper.
Yeah, I guess I'm wrong. I don't know. Look under knives, I did. It wasn't there. I thought for sure. Maybe it's someone else. That, was it Tactile Turn? Did Tactile Turn do one? Do a series of B-sized notebooks and call them B-spoke. I love that idea so much. Might have to steal that one. That's a good one. Is it Tactile Turn? But I'm looking for the Exacto Blade pin boo for the pun it's just too good would it be on their knife site as good as my pencil sharpener idea no 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 better i think it's better that's that's a better idea I apologize. I I really wanted to find this. <laughs> nope. All right. I give up. Posture check. My gosh, I need that. All right. You've seen pin-shaped ceramic blades? Yeah. That's actually what we were thinking about if we were going to do something. I don't know if I wanted to do that, but... Big Eye Design has a box cutter under knife. Yeah, I'm not looking for the box cutters. I'm looking for Exacto Blade pen holders. Yeah, okay. That's probably closer to what I was thinking about. Maybe this is what I was thinking about. Yeah, this must have been that one I was thinking about. Let me get a bigger picture here. I initially started designing this around a hobby style blade, like an X-Acto blade, but decided I want a blade that was sturdier. So not X-Acto compatible. Trying to find a little bit bigger picture, but I don't really see one. I think this is what I was thinking about, though. So thank you for, thank you, Headful. This is this is what I was thinking. Rob's Penworks makes one. There's a Pen BBS one. No, we will we will look at the um, we will look at the um, emotes. If I have a slot, I can put something back in. I'll let y'all vote on it. So the, does the pin BBS take the exacto? <laughs> pin BBS four eighty one. Yep, sure enough. Okay, so here's the pin B here's the pin BBS one with the exacto blade fitting. It's like a pin handle. Ten bucks. Pretty sweet. Alright, we'll look at Rob's pin works. That was a risky click. Oh, got it. Oh, look at that. They're capped. Ha, <laughs> that's fresh. So there you go, ultra fancy one. Cool. 
like it. All right, let's see. My 35-year-old Exacto has a grip that is kind of mandatory in using it for me. It's a well-loved grip, fits your hands. <clears throat> All right, let me see if I can pull this emote stuff up. It's gonna take me a second because Twitch. All right, I don't have any open slots. <laughs> Bonus emotes, oh. Okay, let's check this out. <clears throat> so here's my emotes page. Spoke Sharpie cover, we've already, we've attempted a design on that. I'm not definitely not ignoring you. Um, we have sketches of uh, Spoke Sharpie holders. We're definitely would like to do that. All right, so it says I have to do this and I can get two additional animated emotes. I don't need additional animated emotes. I already have six open animated slots. But all my standard slots are full. Create an alert box. Hype train alert, celebrations, channel points. So basically, I just need to order, I just need to order uh, some more animated emotes because I have room. Oh, so they want, okay, I see. So this is like the, the following, the, I like these. That's cute. Test alert's not working. Definitely here for a spoke Sharpie cover. Maybe. We can look at this. I like it. So I can build alerts over here and update my alerts like when y'all follow or anything like that. Okay, cool. That's something I can play around with. All right, we're back. This is the stream today. This is what we're doing. We're, we're doing all the things I want to do. So Sharpie used to... Make... Pinniac has followed. See, it would replace that. It would be with the cool Twitch thing. <clears throat> so Sharpie used to make a stainless steel. Do go to eBay and search stainless steel Sharpie marker. And they'll probably be between like fifty and ninety dollars. They're crazy. <laughs> so this is more of a sleeve type of situation. Which is fine. And yeah, Sherpy, 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 Sherpy. Why don't they call it Sherpies? The Sherpas have long done the, uh, they do the more um, colorful styles of sleeves. <clears throat> Can you still find the Sharpie marker refill? I don't think so. I don't even know. I used to have one. I don't know what I did with it. I might have even reviewed it on the blog. But what's up, SD Redneck? So we go to eBay. So let's see if we can. Oh, look. See, me and Brian were looking at them. There you go, 60 bucks. So that's what the old one. They don't make this one anymore, obviously. You didn't say hi, Brad? Well, I didn't say hi, SD Redneck. So. <laughs> You can put a Uniball into the Sherpa ones. So the Uniball Vision Elite fits into the Sherpas. So yeah, they had these, but I don't think you can get the refills anymore. Because they had like a screw-in uh, refill. That's probably why they ended up not selling these anymore. 
because it doesn't fit like the pen. It had its own refill. So if you had one of these, it's almost it almost costs as much as a Tiffany Sharpie. Tiffany Sharpie's still the goat. We'll be getting a Sharpie tattoo soon, no joke. That's great. I, I, I think Sharpie, that would be a cool tattoo, honestly. All right, let's do another giveaway, and then I'm going to go to work. I mean, this is, this is kind of work. Let's see, I'll have more questions. Finger ruler tattoo, that's true. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen my stainless Sharpie in forever. It makes me wonder if I gave it away. That's that's something I would totally do. Um, what else do you want to talk about? I bought every inner gel and every jet stream for my brother to test them out and see what he likes. I didn't realize how chunky they are. Inner gels are chunky, which is my biggest problem with them, despite them being like one of the best refills out there. Um, and then the jet streams, you can get some non-chunky jet streams, depending on the model. certain politician ruined sharpie for me uh, that doesn't even register i didn't expect them to be bigger than my retro 51 retro 51's taper into a nice size the inner gels definitely though yeah that's why my wife likes the inner gel oh that's right i did see adam savage's tattoo it's funny <clears throat> Get a good slim third-party refill. Yeah. Pilot-sponsored race cars. A Ferrari F40 in blue with a pin on the hood and sides. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, Spoke happens to make a inner gel refill holder. It's not too chunky. Although I don't have the inner gel refill in there. <laughs> but thank you, Front Me. I appreciate you working there. Um... But yeah, I the uni, uni excuse me, Intergel made a black slim barrel. I forget the name of it. It was like Nano or something like that. That was the best Intergel for me. But my wife loves the standard Intergel. That's her favorite pen, bar none. It's you can get jet streams that are S gel sized. The inner gels are hard to find in a smaller, smaller Kuro. So yeah, the Kuro was a narrower, narrower barrel. But they're not, they were, they didn't run many of those, I don't think. I don't, are those still available? The Euro Needle is so good. The Euro Needle, the Pentel Euro G Needle chat, one of the best pins ever, ever made. It doesn't make my list because they're just kind of uncommon. A libretto. I don't know the libretto. loud slim version of the alloy pen that isn't in the u.s market now that you say that i think i got my hands on one of those but i don't remember what i did with it i think it was red like a light red silver trim it's a really cool jacket you got on today yeah i love this one it's like a hoodie yeah i've had one of these had one of these but maybe not the japanese market yeah so it's a it's a hoodie so it's just like a snap up here it's got the it's got the pouch in the front and uh it's like an open hood that you can like button up yeah thank you libretto have you seen the black kuro at walmart yeah the kuro was a main line for a minute 
the fact that it's both larger and lighter than my fountain pens make me think the inner gel is just gonna fly out of my hand. It is light for a, uh, I wonder if they have a libretto on here. Libretto, I have not tried this one. I've not even seen that one. The cat has stolen my inner gel phylography. Rip. That's cool. I like it. All right, let's do a giveaway. The rare, elusive Sapelo XL. So this is a cool, this is a uh, bag in a bag design we did for Knock, where it's a sleeve, it's an A5, if it's an A5 notebook. Um, I put in, not an A5 notebook, I put in a five by seven dome paper grid bus lines, but it does, you can still enter. You can still enter. You never know what the what the giveaway is gonna be. It could be a little uh, $2 ruler, it could be a fancy pen case, you never, you never know. You never know what I'm gonna grab out of the ice box, but it does fit like a full A5. So we designed it to fit a full hardcover, like a traditional A5 hardcover, right? So, you know, and then you can slot it into a bag. That happened once, didn't it? Maybe. Um, then you can put like a three by five notebook in here, then it's got pen holders here, uh, ruler holders here. Um, still waiting for the Sands of Komodo pen. It's it's visually there. Namiki winner Vlad with the sub. I didn't even realize that was the sub. Nice. I appreciate appreciate the sub. Thank you so much. All right, so we'll do the um the five by seven. Whoa. Hey, we hadn't had any stream issues since the other day. That was crazy. So yeah, that's a really good design idea. Thank you. Very happy with that one. Oh, and I miss uh, Penny AK. I missed that. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. I think I said that maybe when we were messing. With, I was messing with the Twitch alerts. All right, so we'll give this away. The raffle's not going yet, so y'all can chill. Welcome, welcome, Penny. I've been watching for two years and never won a raffle. The hope still remains. Hope still remains. How long was Thunder Viking? Thunder Viking was like four years. Thunder Vikings was the longest, I think, on record. Was it? It was at least three years. But yeah, and then some people win like twice in a month or twice in a week. We've definitely had someone win twice in a week. For sure. Wow, I can't believe it's an hour and a half of, of nothing. We did good today, chat. <laughs> I didn't even do any postcards. I thought, well, maybe I'll do some postcards, but maybe we'll save that for next week. <clears throat> oh, healthy addict, pen addict, all kinds of things. Welcome, healthy addict. Glad to you could join the the addict club here. <laughs> we talk about pens. We don't talk about healthy. We talk about unhealthy spending habits. <laughs> Talking about pens. All right, so let's do this giveaway. Let's do this giveaway. Max writes a lot. Thirteen months of subbing. Let's go. Let's go. I have a healthy spending habit on pens. So, oh well, then you're in the right place for sure. Like, that's literally what we talk about. How about fountain pens? Miss G's Crafties is the one two days in a row. I do remember that. Thank you, Max. Thank you for the sub. 13 months of subbing. Let's go. Why do y'all keep hitting raffle? Why do y'all keep hitting raffle? It's not even running. Can we get some simmer down emotes in the chat, please? <laughs> I know, y'all are excited. Uh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Simmer down now. I see other raffle comments. I comment. I know. It's that's how it that's how it goes. That's why we have the simmer down. That's why we had to get the simmer down emote. Y'all are crazy. All right. Now it's open, chat. Exclamation point raffle. Anyone can enter, anyone can win. You don't have to be a follower, member, subscriber. You don't have to live in the United States. You can live win this beautiful yellow sunshine that's blowing out my camera. Uh, this is blue, despite it probably looking purple on your screen. This is uh, shun sunshine and sky. Sunshine and sky. 
So it'll fit your A5s up here, notebooks, pens. Pen not included, right? Pen not included. But you can put all kinds of stuff in here. Will my phone fit in there? Nah, a little too big. Plus, I wouldn't want the snap back on the thing turning around. So yeah, fits all kinds of fun stuff. It looks blue. The yellow looks green. Yeah. Phone included, phone not included. Fit my plotter. Uh, fit my plotter. Fit all kinds of stuff, chat. Fit, fit this baseball. It fits the baseball. I don't know if you can close it, but it fits. Sorry, my attention is split between you and 28 young artists. I'd pay attention to the 28 young artists. You never know what's going to happen. Oh, you can put your you can put your Joy Division button right on the top here, right on the outside. This, would be, this is a good place for pins. Also pins. So you could just do this, right? That'd be sick. Pin not included. Also pin not included. You can just do that. That'd be sick, right? Boom. Very functional, very functional case. No longer made. I need to. I need to make sure I have one of these for myself. It is super functional. So the good thing about uh, Cordura, so you put the pinholes in there, but they're self-healing. I mean, you could pull it, but now it's gone. Boom. Speaking of pins, I need to find my locking backs. That's always the challenge. And now that someone has put a hole in it, you don't have to feel bad about adding pins. That's what I was saying. Self-healing. Unless you rip it like it's going to heal. All right. There's the official yellow and the official blue. You can really see the colors better here. Like, you can't even see where the hole was. Boom. It is very minion-y color. Yeah. Definitely not the same colors. You can get some color, you can get some weird colors with my top-down camera and my webcam, for sure. And sometimes it's backwards. Sometimes you can't see it here, but can see it under here. Oh, front me with the last second entry. All right, let's pick a winner. Diamonds International. You can put diamonds. You can put diamonds in here too, chat. Lighting is always a challenge. Especially when I'm showing off inks and stuff. Like Diamonds International. Are you there? Like when I do ink stuff. Like they can look different. Hello, Diamonds International. Have you ever actually won? Have you ever actually won a stream? So like I can, sh this will probably won't be as good. These are pretty reasonable. Which ones do don't show well? These show up pretty well, I guess. These are pretty true to color. So I don't guess there's gonna be any big variation up here. But when I do big swatches, there's definitely some variation. These aren't bad though. These are pretty reasonable. But when I do big ink swatches, I do have to kind of split the camera a little bit. Might also want to try play around with, uh, is that 4 cam or IV cam? It was great when I was doing cooking streaming, can you use your phone as a cam too? I do need to use the, I do need to set up the phone situation. I'm gonna write that down. Diamonds International, congratulations. You need to email me your shipping address to hello at penaddict.com, tell me you won the Notco case, and tell me your stream name, okay? Like IV, okay, I'm gonna write that down. So the last thing y'all made me write down in here was Murderbot. Now we're writing IV cam. I should use my uh, camp, my phone cam sometimes though. Oh, it's like a three to five dollar app. Can I stream off IV cam? I might try and try sewing a bootleg Sapelo XL. Brad, are you chill with that? Yes. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to help. <clears throat> B. 
Bennu Euphoria Earl Grey. We'll pull that one up. You can use it as a virtual camera. So I have, so my, um, so Healthy Attic, thank you for being here and, and helping me out. I have, some would call a situation of storage. I literally talk about stationery, it's my job, right? So like I have stashes of stationery. So we call it the Closet of Doom. So I said I'm gonna do a stream in the Closet of Doom and I just have my laptop you know, to stream from there, from like the webcam, but that could be helpful for that stream. So we'll think about that. Can you take a pic of the Saplo open up with a ruler for measurements? Yeah, no, I will, I'll, I'll do it right now. <laughs> Hell, I probably have a pattern. Because we have to, we created our own patterns. I just don't know where those files are. I'd have to find the files. Subaquatic toaster just wants the full manufacturing schematics. I wouldn't do that for. I don't know that I'd publicly post them, but like I, I'm, I trust people. That's pretty. You could just run a stream quickly from mobile, but that'd just be the one cam. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> That's really pretty. I like that one. Yeah, so I'll probably just use my laptop. That way I can at least read chat. Plus I won't be I won't be staring into the camera that much. Mostly chat will just be yelling at me. We require an extra cam cam on stream just pointing at Toby. Yeah. I could do like a GoPro. He's just laying on a blanket right now. He must be cold. Put up a green screen and I'll make you an ice box of doom background. Whew, that'd be sick. That would be sick. I'm still kicking myself for not buying the Sapelo XL back in the day. I don't have many left. I have like a couple that I'm using for giveaway. I'm, I'm trying to think of do I even have one for myself because I need to keep one. I'm bad about bad about doing that. All right. Diamonds International. I need to write this down. Diamonds International. Email me your stuff. I'll ship it maybe today. I don't know if it's going to ship today or not. So it might be a couple couple of days. You emailed me. Wow, you're quick. I appreciate that. All right. We still have a few sumos left. These are hard to keep stickies on. Let me try something real quick. Let me see something. Ah, oh, no, that's not gonna work. Sorry, I was thinking about having a tape ruler. All right. All right, chat. You found the orange spoke, not the one that I was looking for. That frustrates me. I physically had it in my hand. And now I can't find it. All right, who's doing what today? We can go see Kiritissa. Check the floor. Eh. I have a shocking amount of pins on the floor, but that's not one of them. <laughs> that's the, literally dubs. That's the, the stack of pins I just looked at. It wasn't here, it was in the other room. What was the orange pin on the crab behind you? That is the spoke um, polycetal, aka Delrin, fountain pin, spoke icon. I need to re-ink this. So I stole this one. Brian didn't give me a thumbs up, so he must not be listening so I can say I stole this one. Place your spoke pencil order. Thank you, Veronica. So yeah, and I changed the nib on this. I had a, a um, Brooke sent me a test etching on a black nib. So this is the Delrin icon or the polycetal icon. They're listed in the uh, like the prototypes uh, shop. So yeah, so Slumberland keeps talking about, um, I did not take that one on vacation. Slumberland, you were talking about the... Um, 
Ultim model of this. And like we could do like the four slot like this. This seems like it's thick enough. This seems like it would be thick enough to where the Ultim wouldn't be like too fragile around here. And plus the, the sleeve really braces it really well. Like I can't bend this at all. And I bet the, the Ultim in this thickness is probably stronger than the Delrin. So it would be super ugly with like these different parts in here, but I, that would just have to be part of like the feature of it, right? Just like the Kasama, it's a beautiful pen, even though it's see-through and you can see all the internals, like you would see all the threading and like the mismatched colors. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. So I need to ink this pen back up because I really, I've told y'all this story before. I wasn't a fan of these when we got them. And then I started using it. And um, like I was like adamant that I didn't like them. And now I love it. It's like one of my favorites because of how it feels. So yeah. Yeah. I, I Oh, Slum Learns. Yeah. So I've talked about it before. Like, I really didn't like these when we got them. They're really freaking good. Really good. All right, I do. Need, I need to go chat. So let's uh, let's raid Kiri. See what she's making today. Um, appreciate y'all hanging out. Next week we'll decide. Next Tuesday, what's the cool box on top of the ice box? We don't have enough time for that. Maybe Tuesday we can talk about it. It's the Toyoka Craft 100. It holds 100 pins. It's five drawers, 20 pins each. All right, love you too, Slumberland Studio. <clears throat> um, yeah, we can talk about that. So if you need pointers on IV Cam, feel free to uh, DM me on Insta. Okay, I will follow you on Insta and definitely give you a shout. Thank you, Healthy Addict. I'm also Pin Addict on Insta. So if you see me, messaging you it's me um let's see here oh so tuesday maybe we'll look at the toyoka craft box on tuesday we're gonna pick a date for the closet of doom stream because if i don't put it on the calendar i'm not gonna do it so be here tuesday if you want to know the date for the closet of doom stream it'll be before the end of the year so i don't have many streams before the end of the year only like what six more streams to go maybe something like that um so come back Tuesday. Help me pick out a date. Yeah, should be fun. All right. Kiri is up to awesomeness as usual. So y'all y'all go say hi. Go hang out with uh, one of our goldsmith friends. See y'all later. Bye.